Are you ready for Red Dead Redemption 2? Because I am. Let's do it. Going in. Brightness calibration. Let me double check some stuff real quick. Subtitles, always on. I think these are stereo. By 1899, the Age of Outlaws and Gunslingers was at an end. America was becoming a land of laws. Even the West had mostly become been tamed. Few gangs still roamed about, but they were being hunted down and destroyed. Rockstar Games presents. Oh. 
Red Dead Redemption 2. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Oh. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Chapter 1, Coulter. Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you were going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this, just for a short bit, and I don't see what other choice we have. Listen, listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny. Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it, gladly. But we are gonna ride out, and we are gonna find some food. Everybody? We're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this. Howdy, Naza. By the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, Get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. <clears throat> Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work well, to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. 
Get indoors, son! I... We need you strong. Okay. Oh my god. We're just getting started, dude. Alright, let's head out. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Damn. This is epic. Bridge coming up. Take it easy. Oh, okay. RB is your brakes, kind of. Can't believe we lost Davy, too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. <laughs> and what about the money? Please tell me you at least got the money before it all went to hell on that boat. We did. It's stashed with the rest of the money in town. It'll be safe for now. But we sure can't go back there to collect it anytime soon. Hey, I think I see something up the path. You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen, found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> oh no. How's Davey doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davey was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Or. <laughs> Was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we all know. Quite a business. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. I'm coming through. Yeah, okay.
Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay, let's head down there. Dude, this is so cool. Health is in the lower left corner. Okay. Why don't you turn off your lantern, Dutch? The hell? Let's hitch up here. Approach the chief. Wide a hitch. Handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Sounds like quite the party. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. All right. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, gentlemen. <laughs> we can't help you, mister. Oh, no. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, train. we got a problem. <laughs> oh, <look at> that. <laughs> There's a corpse right here. What? I, I just Arthur. Some There's a body. In the wagon. I hear you. Just Gentlemen, keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. These I guys are worse. Go now, buddy. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Please, I am kind of desperate. Hey. I don't believe it. Over there! More of them! Hey. I see him. We got him, coach. Can we loot him? No. Damn, that was epic. It it really feels like every bullet you can just feel it, man. It's raw. Like you felt so much emotion in that moment. Didn't seem to be going too well. Goddamn O'Driscoll boys here. Why? I don't know. Maybe same reason as us. Micah, go bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Ah, I kicked one while he's down. It smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essential food, medicine, whiskey. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. 
Your health care core drains over time and is now empty. Hold right on the D-pad to open your satchel. E to provision. Okay. It's a strange one. Different it's items strange have different right. effects. Maybe they're hiding up here too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. I saw. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Micah found a dead body in the wagon outside. Got some meds here in the cabinet, maybe? Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Some jewelry. A gold pocket watch. You think we can use, then meet me out here. Cigarettes. Card. Ilga Ulmer. <laughs> Fairest flowers and gems of beauty. Third series, 12 different cards. So it's a red rocket collector card, so you gotta... You gotta find the rest of them. Alright, what's in this chest? Alright, I'm gonna take the hat off every now and then. Uh, I might put it on when people come visit the stream. Uh, got a place to hang it over there just because it's hot and, and it is is pretty hot in this room let's see coin purse anything else sitting over there <laughs> them city slickers just don't get it Poor bastard was married too. Oh, that's cool. You can sort of. What's taking so long in there? Jake and Sadie wedding, September seventh, eighteen ninety six. Still looking, Dutch. Classic oat cakes. Okay, uh, let's look upstairs if it'll let us. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Something on the table. Salted meat. Revolver cartridges, regular. Hey, man. Don't don't even joke about spoilers. I'm banning people for spoilers. There there's a zero tolerance policy on this game. So yeah, don't don't even joke, man. Cause uh, you might you might get banned, and then then you'll be be like, why why'd you ban me? And I'll be like, dude, you know what I mean? I I'm just letting you know, man. All all good with the jokes, so. But yeah, man, just be careful. What are you be doing careful, friend. Arthur? Just let me finish searching the place. <laughs> yeah, man. We, we ain't playing fair tonight. I wonder if he'll let me loot the bodies. I'm going to try that before we... Uh, 
I'm gonna try to loot this guy we killed over here. That's terrible, dude. Oh, man. Wait, did he just get up? Dude, there's a blood spot. No, we would have seen tracks. Maybe the body just disappeared. Maybe that's all it is. Dude, if he got up, that's bad. That's bad. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. I don't want to investigate the barn. To view your current objective. Oh, you can change. Okay. That's cool. So you can quickly tap down on the D-pad to get your objective. Or you can hold it and decide, you know, what kind of... What kind of radar do you want? Do you want it off? That's cool that you can quickly toggle that because someone like me that really likes uh, a lot of immersion, I, I'll probably turn a lot of that stuff off once I get my bearings. I don't know. There's definitely, there's definitely a trail here. So somebody may have been to the barn. So... And, and there's also a trail leading out to what looks like an outhouse. Don't lose horses, dude. If, if there's horses in there, don't let them get away. here near the lake what are you bastards doing why are you up here uh, we're fixing to rob some train gonna blow the tracks no, I don't know more than that I swear <laughs> well I would say it looks like you have this Arthur do what you want with him I don't care I don't, I don't care when you're done oh I don't know anything else. <laughs> sure you don't know anything else? Please, partner. I'm sorry, I ain't taking any chances out here tonight. I'm providing for my people. You of all should understand. Yes. Yeah. Pick up. Guy knocked my hat off. Easy. You're okay. Whoa. Continuing to bond with your horse increases its trust in you and it improves its attributes. Lead the horse to the hitching post. Well, I mean, if we're gonna stay here, it seems kind of mean to make him go outside. He's dealt with. Good. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. I will. Get that horse hitched. Don't want him bolting. What the hell? 
Gonna live if you don't come with us. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Well, we fucked up this house because somebody thought they should flip the table over. You okay, miss? They came three days ago. They lost this man. They. Miss, you are safe now. And can't stay here. Oh no, what if her husband was the guy in the barn? Surely us. it's not. Of course. Yes. It's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Homestead, but we weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler. Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Cause you yeah, suck and man. I'm a badass, god damn it. Well, Miss Girl Child, we are playing with a gray hat. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Uh, Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... We're about 30 I'm minutes sorry. in. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed and he looked for me thank you now john marston was the protagonist of the last game last i know john was headed up the river for all we know he kept riding north and never looked back 
You wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on there. There's some tracks leading to the river. A few hours ago, most. See, they continue up that way. Not that way. Uh, he might. I'm, I'm worried. You yeah. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money. It seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Huh. Take it slow. Big ravine here. Dutch killed Oh my the god, they did it! The first person! I can't handle that but right now. It was now. a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. So there's a more pulled back. We continue along the cliff wall here. Kind of like it pulled in a, a little bit close. But Davey got shot. Mac and John, up. both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side, I, of town, I'm not even sure yet. We haven't even gotten in. Bad business, all right. Oh, that is cool. Hold A to automatically call it. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Man, that is cool. So you can click the right stick to change the uh, perspective. And that's really cool, because that's something I liked in uh, Grand Theft Auto and other games, you know, in the series. I've always had that cinematic camera. It's starting to clear up a little bit. This is very dangerous. Horses are struggling. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. Um, I I do. I I will point out some of the people. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. For example, earlier we interacted with Dutch, and then that guy Morgan mentioned uh, Bill Williamson, which is one of the first guys that you go after in Red Dead Part One. Over there, you see that? I'm really digging this so far. I I got a major. This vibe of uh, John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Oh no. Let's see if he can hear us. Come on. Up there. Yeah, I thought it was this way. I I do like the theme, yeah, in the world and you know, we haven't really seen much other than snowy mountains so far, but uh, it's coming from up ahead somewhere. I'm loving this. I, I got a vibe of uh, what was it? That last Tarantino flick. I grabbed that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Okay. Horse weapons. Down 
down this way. That's interesting how you can So they're they're trying to make it to where you can't carry too many items or weapons on you at one time. No, not Django. Uh Ah, what was the last one that he did? Uh You show sure about this. I'm struggling to think of it. It's coming from this way. Okay. Careful here. We had that we're high up here. You're telling me. That sounds like John. Careful. Cleats There's when a you drop run. here. Watch out here. Ridiculous. No. Watch your head here. I'd have to look it up. I think a lot of people slept on Tomb Raider. Okay, from here. I don't know. I, I really enjoyed it. I think some of the storytelling near the end got a little weak, but uh, I quite enjoyed the game. I, I think it's a good, good series. I, I may not agree with the exact way they chose to end it. Sounds close. Uh, okay. So we're looking for something. Probably gonna do the kidney beans to raise our stamina a little bit. Continue to eat and drink to maintain your cores. Also, I want Oreos. Oh my god, don't. Don't start. Don't start. How long am I streaming? As long as it takes. That's <laughs> that's my answer. <laughs> as long as it takes. Oh, man. DVD trapped. What's up, Joe? Playing some Red Dead Redemption 2. Come on. Getting blown away by how perfect this game is. Marched. John, can you hear me? John! John, where are you? John! Over here! Down on the ledge! That's John! We're coming! That was there! He's down here. No, nope, no work or, or anything. Just had to stop by. Yeah, this is my uh, Stetson right here. One of my favorite hats. This is a Stetson there. Marshall. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. Oh, we found him. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. <clears throat> Freezing. <clears throat> don't die just yet, cowboy. Yeah, we need you. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. You all right? <laughs> think so come on who knows who way knows way. how he got over there there was a really bad storm the night before oh no well fuck i'll distract him while you get to the horse go draw him off all right john come on let's get you on that horse
Okay, I can't loot him. Okay. I'm gonna take Come that on, off because it, it is other. hot. One sec. Dude, doesn't it? Doesn't this game look good? Holy crap. Um, how did he get over there? I don't know. Like, he got, like, his horse was dead and, like, disemboweled. And, uh, it was, like, pretty far away. So he, he must have ventured there, you know, looking for a cave or something to, to hide in for the night. This is cool though. I'm really digging this. It does look good, I have to say. Man, there's so much stuff. We gotta catch up. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a, a dog bite. Uh, you knew a fella? Got bit by a dog. Died. An hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. Sixty-nine thousand people are watching Red Dead. This. Got a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, "I'm lucky." Jeez, None that's a lot of people. Right now. But I'm sure we're all curious, you know. Water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving. Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Uh... A little empty. Can we get some help? We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're oh, okay. Alive. Right, here we <laughs> I'm starting to get worried. Ah, you careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, <laughs> even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you, you got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Have you and Dutch talked about how we're going to get Joe. out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I uh, suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that, that civilization? I know. 
The West is where our problems are worse. Yeah. Come on, Herr Strauss, let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Moggy. <sighs> Uh, yeah, Abigail, that, that'd be her, that's be, that's John's wife. And apparently Jack is young enough. We found shelter. And He's in this. Been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm. We wait. Let me look. Social club. Uh, hang on. Let me look at all this. Make sure I'm logged in. Um. Yes, I'm on Xbox One X. So if there are any enhancements or whatnot, you will get to get to see that. Let's see. Um, I'm not sure. I wonder if it'll let me look here. <laughs> not sure which email I use for my rock star. Um, Let me log in on that real quick. Just in case there's any rewards. Okay, I think I got it right. So, um... I couldn't beat the first one. Hopefully I can on Xbox with the Mighty Marcus helping me. Um, you got stuck on the horse. Yeah, dude. The horse racing is, is so... It was so annoying in the first game. I, I really... That one really got to me. Um, okay. Looks like I've uh, linked everything properly. So there is a... Um, companion app that you can get for this game and uh, it's going to have like your map your health gauge um you can read arthur's journal um you can look you can look at the progress in the game um Let's see, it says that there is a way to link the app. Okay. To where it will show you all that. I'm just going to double check. I don't like that everything you click on opens the web browser. Uh, it says that there's a strategy guide on here and a map. Rainbow, what's up? Uh, after I finished Red Dead Redemption 1. Yeah, dude. I think that's a great idea, man. Because I, I, th I think although it's, it's not necessary uh, that you play the first part, I, I think you would... You would enjoy it a lot more if you did. 
because I think knowing some of the characters and all the all the tie-in information uh, would definitely be worth it. So it has real-time map tracking. That's cool. Well, I might keep that open. Because people were saying that if, if you want to, like, turn off the HUD in-game and then use the app here um, to sort of look at your progress or you can even mark things on the map here yeah I can see where all the different quests are I can quickly see where I am that's pretty cool <laughs> anyway well hey welcome to the stream everybody hope you're enjoying this and uh, we're, we're gonna jump right into it now hola uh hola el taco <laughs> uh let's see i think yeah so you have all these huds it's like most everything kind of fades away on its own everything's kind of dynamic to keep it uh keep it to where it's not really intruding Repeated button presses are used. <laughs> Interesting. All right, we'll we'll look at that when stuff. Storm later. breaks, we move, but we're safe here. Warm enough, I guess. Oh, it says the Sound companion doubtful. app is connected. Not doubtful, just worried. Continue playing to unlock your bonus content. For Jose, I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit. <clears throat> we go back to Blackwater and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. <laughs> Closed drawers because I'm not a monster. No, Joe, did you block me? Oh. Um. Well, hopefully you're doing well, Rainbow, and hopefully you have some fun in here tonight. We're we're doing our cowboy stuff. Sit. Oh, you can just. Oh, well, that's... That's nice. Let's see what's in here. Can't carry anymore. Um... So we need a bigger satchel. Of course, you can also stow things uh, with your horse. Let's see if we can talk to this guy. We weren't there, Jose. I'm aware of that. And they shouldn't have been either. Oh, we can't change nothing now. Huh. Okay there, Dutch? Thank you. Thank you for bringing John back. Finally, some relief. 
He's beat up, but he'll be all right, I hope. Yeah, let me see. Uh... I think most of that stuff is popping up on the left side, right? Top left. But I might I might take away uh Might take away that event list just while we stream this game. Cuz I I really do like it to be and maybe we can Maybe do it like that. I think I think that keeps it pretty uh, unobstructive. <laughs> Cowboy, yeah, yeah. And I've I've got a hat here. Uh, I'll I'll put it on for a sec just to show you. But I I took it off because it's a little hot. It's a little hot. But yeah, I got my own hat. And uh, let's see, El Taco's playing with Jelly Bean. Awesome. Cool stuff. Gracias, senor. All right, let's get up. Let's uh, let's see what else we gotta do around here. Can't read books, no. I don't fancy much of that reading stuff. Thank you. Okay. Okay, well, try to stay warm. Just gonna try and stay warm. Hmm. Woo! Woo! Feel that chill. Let's see, provisions, tonics, ingredients, materials. Uh, you got your bandana, binoculars, personal watches, valuables, documents. Cool. Mahogany Bay, uh, his speed is about halfway, and acceleration is, or no, 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 I see some grayer bars, okay, so, it, it has potential to get higher, I guess, is, is what they're saying. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the north, general of the Felix Legions, <laughs> loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius. Father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. Marcus Maximus. Welcome to the stream, dude. <laughs> How's it going? I fell asleep, dude. Who 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 blames you? <laughs> We're about an hour into the game. Uh, but, you know, Girl Child was kind of saying earlier, uh, that it was a slow build, a slow start, but I kind of like that. I really do. I, I think there's been some action sequences, and uh, it's, it's going to be cool to see it, uh, you know, slowly build from there. This is, uh, this is Javier. Javier? Another cold morning. <laughs> How are you holding up? I'm okay. 
better than most. I like his poncho, and he's, he's got a nice bowler, too. That's the spirit. Okay, brother. There, there is something on my head. Where, what, what, what is that? I don't know. Help with you boys because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Part yellow. Me. Cool. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. I fell, but when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> I want this already. Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Folk been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're <laughs> just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You you always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about yes. more than revenge for business long ago. My first hey, repeater. About trains. Oh, is he giving me a lasso? Here. Comb? always had good information come on and you think now is the right time to hit a train now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit i'm getting too old for that life mr matthews mr smith mr pearson would you please look after the place there are o'driscoll's about yeah Hell yeah. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. You said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay. Let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this core they're planning. <laughs> Don't mention food, dude. A we burger sounds good. Place. Really does. Uh, yeah, and Joe had ribs, man. Like, everybody's living it up, man. I'm, I'm a little jealous. Jealous. What's that? Tracks. Some tracks. Horses, quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You so good, Dutch? <laughs> of course. Listen. I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. True. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. Well, nice, dude. Hannibal. Do it. I, I, I can't, can't wait for you nice. to play part one. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Over there. Hold up here. Ah! All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, 
We're gonna head up here a little. That's my gun. We can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. Oh, we're walking. Hang on. I want my... Uh, hang on, I forgot. How do you... No, oh, how do you, uh... How do you get your... Rifle. Dude, that that this horse is beautiful. Yeah, I, I love it, man. It's a, Sort of dark brown with like white spots on him. Well, they're they're saying it's gonna be a lot like Red Dead or not like Red Dead, like GTA five. They're they're gonna keep rolling out content for this because GTA six is a long way away. Uh, that's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Looks like they're getting ready to ride out. Arcus, the five bits. Thank you, dude. No. Uh oh. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. <laughs> Marcus with five there. more bits. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. I like this coat. Rifle from your horse. That's cool. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. Okay, it was LB. Sure Okay, so I can swap between the pistol. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies. Jassy, welcome to the here. stream. Everything else, including Have a good night, Mark. Thank you for hanging out, dude. Okay. There's enough of those bastards. You're gonna love this game. Deal with as it is. Now, come on. <laughs> it's cool to see all you guys here. So this is like a rival gang that we're going after. Tell me it's bad. Yeah, all the reviews are 10 out of 10, Marcus. It's terrible. It's 
deep here. Careful. Still kind of in the early stages, but the game is legit. Oh yeah, dude, it's it's <laughs> it's way too early for you right now. Tomb Raider, what? Dude, assassin, dude, thanks for stopping by, man. Finished up your homework. All right. Maybe I should take <laughs> No, but the way our luck's been running, hush. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. <laughs> the snow part? Yeah, it is kind of like that. Dude, have a good night, assassin. Get, <laughs> get some rest, dude. Appreciate that host. See, it's cool. You can hold left trigger and like whatever character you're near, if there's any dialogue op options, you can talk to him some more. Stay low. Come on, follow me. That was cool how he had to load it. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. So we got everything we need. We don't have time to debate this. Okay, fine. You make the move. Alright. Keep pushing forward. Men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun and ride a horse and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Colm doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Keep looking! We need everything we can get off of these bastards! i loot these guys.
Did I not? We'll get what we need. Okay. Clear out. We don't have time to mess around. Man, this is cool. It's reminding me of Gun. I kind of want to get my original Xbox out and play it. Oh my gosh. Uh, Jazzy says it's more like Wolfenstein. <laughs> Oh wow. I I don't know what Wolfenstein vibe you getting. I don't know, maybe just the the story and the characters are kind of interesting like they were in that one, real down to earth. Sure are getting a lot of chewing tobacco. I'm going to loot as many people as it'll let me, all right? kind of cool that attention to detail Getting a little bit of money off these guys too the new Wolfenstein. We're waiting on you, Arthur. Keep waiting, because there's a pocket watch. I'd be jacking all this stuff right now. Including that backpack. Arthur. Snake oil. Vegetables. So, if, if you miss the beginning of the game, you, you have to eat to sort of keep your core energy in check. You, your character's stamina can lower, your horse's stamina can get low as well. Uh, it's really interesting how all, all of this works. That's dynamite. Kentucky bourbon? Hell yeah. Cigar? Yeah, definitely. Health cure, yeah. Cigar, yeah. 
Now, I think the part when he goes back to Texas was really cool in Wolfenstein, but I, I really enjoyed so much of it. Yeah, and all the twists and turns that the story took. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. I think... Nope, not all of them. I think some of the other guys searched some of these. Getting some good money. I only had like two dollars when we started the game. And now I'm up to 16. Crackers, vegetables. All right, we're full on cigars and tobacco. Um, winter gloves. Oh, that's a quick way to equip your bandana and stuff. gin and a coin purse well, I guess probably best to leave it open uh, I just looked it up $16 was 475 back then yeah yeah things were definitely less dollars but they were still expensive I mean if you had $20 you were <laughs> you were really doing pretty well get drunk and see how long you can ride the horse without falling off smoke as many cigars and get black lung yeah well there's there's the dynamite right here hey this looks good what do you think bill well looks fine smells good come on did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. Okay. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you, boys. All of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and out. They can pummel us as hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. How far is your life, fellas? <laughs> Wait until we have John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but... This hit will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, <laughs> he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're going to stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We'll 
allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Man, look at the scenery, too. I, I like how it's kind of hard to see and... All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make snow. some ground. The tracks in the snow look amazing. You have uh, uh, BJ's daughters, yeah. Hey, you see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Cole? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, boy. I'm gonna yeah. get you. I'm coming for that ass. You got the wrong fella. Well, we're gonna find out together, aren't we? Watch, eh? <laughs> Look at those horse testicles. Oh, wow. Hogtied people can be placed on Come the back. Come on, of the I, I, I'm nobody, mister. Now the fun starts. Can, can we? Oh, damn. Let's, uh. <laughs> All right. Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! <laughs> I like the psychological stuff that we're doing to this guy right now. You know, just getting him ready. It's like, it's not gonna be fun. <laughs> you I, you ain't gonna have a yet. good day. <laughs> Supposed to be all shriveled you shut your cold. mouth, you little shitter. I will shut it for you. And you're you're definitely you're definitely keeping up. Keeping up with this, yeah. Alright, let's uh let's pick it up a little bit. Oh, dang it easy, you're gonna break my ribs. They don't tell me nothing. I swear! Please, I'll do anything. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones. Right? I'm Batman. Oh, what's up, Batman? Remember that time you had to lockpick a horse's ass on Kingdom Come? That was weird. Yeah, that was a little weird. That was a little weird, Joe. Just to let everybody know, you know, mods and, and viewers and stuff. Uh, if anybody comes in with spoilers, just ban them right away. Because I, I don't even want to see it. So you can do forward slash ban, type a space, and then put their name in. Or you can click on their name and ban them. 
I, I do not care. I don't care how long they've been a viewer of the stream. I don't care if they're a loyal sub. If somebody comes in and starts spoiling the game, uh, you're out. There, yeah, there will be no, there's no strike system on Red Dead Redemption or any of the games I'm like really in love with. Yeah, there's no no questions asked. You're, and and you know, that's just it's just how it's gonna be. And I'm not gonna have any any uh, tolerance myself either. I'm further than you. Right on. Yeah, I'm I'm probably gonna avoid watching just about everybody. Like I, this is a game I have to wholly experience on my own. Uh, one of my cats is such a fucking fatty. He's trying to shove his face into the potato potato chip bag. Oh my god, that's hilarious. That's awesome. Uh, that's probably something Presley would do as well. Oh, look at the moon coming out there. All right, we're gonna pick up our speed a little bit. But yeah, just letting you guys know. You know, most most of you know. Like you know, come on, don't don't be a dick. You know, don't spoil things. I don't care how small it is or or what you think it is. You know, I, nah, not gonna happen. No spoilers. Um, I'm excited uh, to know how the story will be like with BJ's Dollars. Yeah, I am too. I, I, I was really excited about Wolfenstein. And uh, that, that game had a really solid story. I really wasn't expecting the sort of open worldness of it. That was really cool. It's been quite nice. He is relentlessly trying to get one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that sounds about right, doesn't it? Oh wow, so I can look at my map here. We're just a little ways from camp. I'm, I've got like an overall image of where I'm supposed to go. Whereas this little radial map is just Show me a little, uh, just a little bit. And my little marker is even moving as as we're moving. Uh, two different streamers I know were playing. Oh, and there's also a first person camera. I'm, I'm not gonna dabble with that too much yet because I kind of want to get used to the game like this. But I think at some point we will, we will do that. Um, I hate the whole part of the game is, is, is it has two discs. Yeah, uh, really it looks like so far it was just part of the installation pro process needed to be stored on two discs, which if it's on two Blu-ray discs, I mean, we're talking about a massive game we have here. And I can see it because the graphics are insane, the world is huge. I mean, have a look at this, all right? Let's go to the chat cam for a second. All right, I got this map with the ultimate edition of the game. All right. Let me see if I can open it this way, I believe. Freaking huge. All right, so Let's let's look at something here. I know a lot of it's green, so it's going to go through the green screen. But let's see. Everything up to... Up to about Blackwater. All this area here. So, like, every all this yellow stuff in this north, ignore that right now. Like, ignore that. Look at everything down here that is, uh, gosh, it's so hard to see. That's New Austin in the bottom left corner. So all of this, okay, I clearly need someone to hold this map for me. Um, but yeah, like all this New Austin stuff, all the way up here, this is the first game. And so all this and all this, this is all in the second game. So they're they're adding a lot. And then on the back, there's... There's sort of uh, city maps, so these are more detailed, and it says like the names of the buildings and stuff like that. So yeah, pretty 
pretty freaking cool. And this map is really nice. This this is what I always enjoyed about uh, pretty much all the Rockstar games was they came with real maps that you could actually look at. And I think also inside, which I got the Steelbook because I got the uh, Ultimate Edition, which was about a hundred bucks. And so uh, it, it came with uh, the Season Pass. Uh, we've got the War Horse and Outlaw Survival Kit, whatever that is. Uh, and then there's a little thing about the Red Dead 2 RDR2 companion app. So if you want to search for it on your phone, if you're getting this game, and you want to go ahead and get the companion app, you can do that. And it looks like this is another map. Um, okay, so this is specifically a map of, for the most part, yeah, okay, this is interesting. So this map is of New Austin, which is everything from the first game. Gaptooth Ridge, Choya Springs, Rio Bravo, Hennigan Stead, Armadillo, you know, all that stuff, up to Thieves Landing and McFarland's Ranch. And then further up here in West Elizabeth is where Blackwater is, and, and that's pretty much the the whole of the first game. And then uh, this this stuff here, yeah, like there's Blackwater right there, which I know you can't see this. This is all like stupid small. But that's that's pretty much where the first game ended was that was all you had access to. So we're talking about all this extra stuff plus everything from the last game. That's pretty rad. And as far as we can tell, I mean, it, it looks massive like just this, just what we've explored now, you know, just what, however big this area is that we're in is, is freaking massive. Um, it looks, yeah, it does, it does. And I imagine it'll be really detailed, um. Joe's going to be playing Red Dead Redemption 1. No spoilers for me. I hope no one spoils it for me. I know nothing about it. Yeah, dude. I think that's the best way to approach it is is just play it. Uh, and try to enjoy it. And uh, if you want to stream it, man, I'll, I'll swing by and check it out. Because uh, if you need any help, I'm always here for that. Just shoot me a message. Uh, Rockstar is unique because the whole studio worked on this game. And... And that studios, yeah, they do have studios across the whole world. So this game is going to be polished and massive AF. Yeah, absolutely. Um, they they really never really struggle with lots of like game breaking bugs or or anything like Ubisoft typically does now. Uh, I had friends telling me it's too soon for a new Wolfenstein when it was announced. I was like, in your face, new Wolfenstein. Yeah, I mean, it does seem like not a lot of time has gone by, but I think people are hungry for it, you know? I think it's I think it's a good time to put out another Wolfenstein. Because, you know, that one was so well-received. If they can do just as good with a sequel, with co-op, I mean, that's going to be fun. But I, I just can't believe we're playing this game right now. I'm blown away. I can't believe we're playing this. I can't believe it's here and it's real. It's been years since we played Red Dead. And it's been years since GTA 5 came out. So. Just to put it in scope, GTA 5 hit in 2013, I believe. Here we are. You sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. No, oh, don't worry. They're real nice. <laughs> How, how is everything? Does all the visuals look good? Is it too dark, not dark enough? I, I did kind of have the huh. brightness set a little dark. Yeah. I got him. Very good. Do let Welcome me know. to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? 
Oh no, now all will get is. I think they will, yeah. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on coal. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Probably going to be a 10 year gap. Yeah, yeah. I I know they said that they, um. Wanted to space those out. Because they really like to take their time. I'm just going to turn that off while the phone charges. Because my phone's getting really hot leaving that open and having it charging. It's getting a little hot. Um Having fun in here, Lenny? More since we robbed the old Driscolls. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be out of here soon. Uh, there was a statement by Hauser, I think it was Dan Hauser today, uh, that he was grateful that they weren't coming out with a GTA game today. Um because he said that the political climate both the left and the right makes it so difficult for their type of satire to be appreciated and they're so both sides are so judgmental you know the fringe sides of either side are are extremely judgmental and and you know everything's really tense and and you it, it's just hard it, i think about it too like how 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 would gta's humor hold up now in this type of era because they've always been very Pushing the boundaries with their type of humor and stuff like that. And and he also said that because everything's changing so rapidly, it's also hard to keep up in that sense. So this is first person. Send someone down the track back to that farmhouse. Okay. Why? That poor woman's husband needs burying. Of course. And is it safe down there? Oh, just send someone sensible. Understood. All right. Body's in a wagon out <coughs> front of the house. I'll send someone. Thanks, Jose. Good call, Dutch. It's the least we can do for the poor woman. I say Mikey should do it, but that ain't a good idea. Anyway, try not to worry. All right, then. How you doing, Molly? So now you're robbing a train. How is that going to help us? I'd speak to Dutch about that. Well, just hang in there. Okay, Arthur. Huh. Let's see if there's anything over here. I don't think there is. So that, that symbol just marks where you sleep. That's like the camp symbol. Okay. I get that. Yeah, story mode will be co-op. Yeah, that'll, that'll be really fun. 
Yeah, I mean, it's kind of sad that there's no new GTA, but, you know, it's, uh... It'll be cool to, uh, you know, give it time for that to breathe. Really let them maybe come out with some DLC for this game. <laughs> maybe there's sexual tension between Molly and Arthur. Yeah, they do seem a little weird. Like, she didn't really talk much. It's okay. It's okay. You happier now, Jack? You're safe now. Aww. Will he be okay? Little Jack yeah, Marston. So. Just needs to rest. Aww, we took a little Jack. Just look after her. Keep warm. I'll do my best. Keep warm. Poor woman. Been through a lot. We'll get off this hill. So this so. is the lady we found in the cabin. Been a nasty few days. I know. And we've had tough times before. We can't hey, Kat. And we can't I'm glad forget. you boys made it back all right. We was worried. Yeah. Ain't Hopefully that so, we Mr. Morgan? Get out of this, of course. He let us Just need some thoughts so we can get those wagons no out. Oblation. I know. She's we'll be okay. That will not rock. Okay, Mr. Strauss? I like think so. Well done for finding Mr. Marston. <laughs> That's some Nothing good news at least. Yep. Have you not known? Have you not heard? Has it not been told to you from the beginning? All quiet here Have while we were gone? I think so. Slept for most of it. Of Typical. I think Uncle, yeah, Uncle is, is John, uh, uh, John, well, I assumed he was John Marston's uncle the whole time, but maybe his name is just Uncle. And uh, he was in the first game, and he was always like drunk and lazy and kind of, kind of an asshole. You doing okay now? Oh, I think so. Thank you. Of course. You okay, Abigail? Oh, my mistake. Yeah. How'd you boys get on with old Driscoll's? In the earth, and he shall also blow upon them, and they shall wither. Well, try to stay strong. Just get us off this damn mountain. So that's John and Abigail, the to whom then people from the first game. Me, or shall I be equal, saith the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high. Okay. And behold, you just who keep reading. These things, that bring the house the that's really cool that you can walk around and talk to people. Hey, no problem, girl. Have, have a good uh, pack. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go see what this mission is from this guy. We're good on health and everything. There's nothing good about packing, you monster. <laughs> True. Oh, really? Why? What's going on? It's really cool that there's all these trails, too. Alright, I think we need to go in here and talk. Because we saw this quest here earlier. <coughs> We're going to starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. see what's in here. I'm kind of curious. I don't know if it'll let us. They'll come looking for me, you know. Well, maybe they'll come looking for those old Trisco boys we killed at that ranch down the way. Who was that? Declan? Fat Tommy? He didn't get as far as introduction. Oh, oh God. It's awfully convenient that we found a little stable here. Just a lot going on. Right on. 
you have to move and, and look for a job. Yeah, yeah, I'm really excited to see all the different, like, breeds of forces that they've done. And apparently I've acquired a few because I bought the Ultimate Edition uh, of the game. So I, I will have some different horses in my collection to go through. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. Yeah. I sent mm -hmm. Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Hmm. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is a rest? Come along. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Hmm. All right, let's head out. That's cool. It's, it shows the bow How and the right hand. Up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Well, I sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so. We don't know. They, they some did some sort of job no and got caught in the huh. storm. There's meat up here for sure. That's all we know. Pearson so doesn't far. know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. So they pulled off some sort of job on a boat, maybe well, they robbed people. Find and, some higher ground. And they stashed the money in town. <sighs> Been a while, a few days, alright. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Hmm. <laughs> El Taco's back. And those people are a rival gang. Yeah, they might have been chasing us or just been nearby. And apparently Dutch has a, a long-going feud with the leader of that gang. So yeah, we don't we don't know too much right now, but it's kinda interesting. Everything's a little vague at the moment. See some of the ground I'm covered here. Let's look down this way. I like the cinematic camera stuff you can do. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now, shh. Stay quiet. Hey, 
stop here a second. I see something. Oh, watch it. <clears throat> Deer been here recently. How can you tell? How can you not? We'll track them on foot. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. The gun will scare everything around. I think so. Maybe not. Focus. Keep your head down. Keep low. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track them nearly as well in grass and woods. Eh, I can kind of see the tracks myself. Scent is also shown in eagle eye, blowing in the direction of the wind. Animals will flee if they smell your scent. Hmm. Looks like hunting got a lot more intense. Okay, I'm seeing little, little deer prints. There he is. Right up there. Wait, look. There they are. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Oh, okay. Now, Arthur. Oh, no, no, no. Just kidding. Sorry. their head okay I was wondering well, like why would you want to call the deer but it makes sense yeah like a quick little whistle or something and then they'll bring up their head and look around and try to see what it was tracks human urine is a good way to attract deer and mountain goats well there you go I wonder if we should go for one of these Held it too long. Yeah. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. 
You sure your hands are okay? Nah, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Oh, I guess I can't study it from here. The compendium tracks what you have discovered. Is it progress? Ah, uh, okay. Animals, equipment, fish, gangs. They like the taste due to the high salt content. That bow looks hard to use. It, it does look a little difficult, yeah. Because, like, the longer you hold right trigger, it starts to get really, really shaky. But maybe you gain, like, some proficiency. So I've tracked two and killed two. Oh, this is cool how it's sort of, uh... Uh, keeping track so you'll be able to tell whether I'm a good hunter or not <laughs> uh, so it looks like you'd fish yeah that's gonna be cool white-tailed deer are found in a variety of habitats across the states but are common to the forests of New Hanover, Lemoyne, and West Elizabeth their herbivorous diet includes grasses, nuts, fungi, twigs, and fruit Keeping your distance when hunting deer can increase your chances of kill as they are easily startled. Long-range weapons such as a rifle or a bow with poison arrows are considered to be the best when hunting. Deer hide can be used for crafting, and their venison meat can be used for cooking. Uh, it, says, it says in the bottom left corner here, it says can be used in the oregano venison recipe. So it looks like there is a bit of a cooking to this as well. So equipment, we've got the lasso, the lantern, and binoculars. Plants, horses, weapons, cigarette cards. One out of 144. Oh, wow. So we're, we're really going to be looking for those. 2% on the story. <laughs> as, as is expected. Okay, you can look at Arthur. Temperature, fair. Yeah, apparently you do have to dress for the climate that you're in. So I was I was noticing that you, you know, you need to keep a long coat in your horse or something just in case you ride up north or something and get in the snow. Uh, so stamina. What do you mean core percentage remaining? Does that mean I'm really low on stamina? Horse uh, bonding is at level 2. Regular grooming. Hmm. Riding your horse too hard, bringing it into contact with stressful, si stressful situations such as combat or predators can lead it to become agitated. Uh, so we got a certain type of saddle and stirrups. Oh, okay, so look, it, it improves the regen, the core drain, and the core drain rate of health. Uh, those can be purchased at stables. Uh, the stirrups add to acceleration and speed. Cool. Man, this is really deep. Can you take a deeper look in the compendium once it's tutorial? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, don't, I, I, I think uh, as we play... Oh, not player. Uh, I think as we play, we'll, we'll kind of dig into some of that. But yeah, we've discovered one animal. Yeah, this will be really cool to sort of look in, and it looks like plants. Let's have a look at horses real quick before, we, before we're done. Let's see. Let's. Uh, so we got a Tennessee walker. Um... Uncommon coats ridden, 0 of 2. Maximum bonding, 2. Common coats ridden, 0 out of 4. Uh, a common black rabicano coat can be found in the wild, if I'm saying that right. Um, Tennessee walkers are riding horses. They can be identified by their refined head and elegant build. The red rowan, black rabicano, 
uh, chestnut, and dapple bay coats can be found in the wild. A flaxen rowan is purchasable from a stable. This breed is renowned for its eye-catching trot and comfortable gait. They are healthy and handle well, and with good stamina and speed, making them perfect for long journeys. Yeah, we'll definitely uh, look at that more as as we play and uh, as we find more things. Uh, so it looks like we're in Mount Hagen. Oh, that's cool. I really like this. Okay. So this is only really looking at the areas that we've been to. Yeah. All right. Well, let's continue. Your horse will respond to your calls if it's in range. Continue to bond with your horse to increase the range, the distance at which it responds to your whistling. Ah, oh, there he is. He heard me now. Yeah, it does have a hand-drawn quality. Yeah, I like that too. Look at how realistic this... Oh, I feel really bad now. <laughs> I think I don't think Sophie's gonna like this game because uh, she saw me murdering creatures in uh, Assassin's Creed, and uh, she's probably not gonna like them killing innocent little deers in this game. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be fun. And so when I first got yeah, this horse, okay, like you can pat it. And you can choose to, like, lead it around by its reins. And I was able to study the horse when I got it. And so it has a mahogany bay coat. And if you look here in the bottom left, you can see the speed and the acceleration. And the handling is standard. So it says it's our main horse. So it looks like all the stats are, are pretty pretty good. Yeah, and, good boy. And everything's, you know, leveled up. Oh, that's cool. You can, like, you can, like, holster it right there. Okay. Well, let's get back to our buddy over here. Uh, supposedly it is Xbox One X Enhanced. Let me see. I don't know. So, uh, we get 4K Ultra HD, HDR, Xbox One X Enhanced. So, it does have high dynamic range. Uh, Xbox Live Multiplayer says 2 to 32 players. So, that's that's not going to go live for a while. Red Dead Online is... is supposedly from what i've heard it's like a month or maybe more away uh which is good because that will give everybody time to play the main story of the game and kind of get a handle for that because you know jumping into multiplayer is going to be a whole different experience so i'm going to put everything back into this cardboard that way i keep it all together so it was a steel book that came in this and i'll show you i'll show you once i uh this back in. Maybe I'll put the map up front. Yeah. Yeah, it came in a, a really nice cardboard case. And so that's the ultimate edition. And the steel books in there. I, I think it was well worth it. I'm I'm really pleased. And I, I think Rockstar, you know, really deserves all my money <laughs> you just know sometimes you just know ready to head back when you are come on man let's head back so we'll catch up to charles here animal carcasses can be dropped off to pearson at the looks like a butcher nice knife work, symbol Arthur. should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days you found him I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. 
<laughs> You've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, so maybe our luck's finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except <laughs> maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. <laughs> the girl. She oh, has wow. a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Watch out. It's a bear. A bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. He must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. He's moving off to the right. Cut up here, off the trail. Got scared. Oh. You never talk that much, you me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here. Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Of course, got scared. Nature of life. And I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... No, you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. Look how the snow me. is gathered up on sure, us. I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch... You know... Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. More Good. than ever. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy, 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Oh, 
How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. Oh, it's that's the horse the I was riding the at the beginning of, of the game. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Hmm. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. This is cool. Uh... Well, we're we're part of a gang, and apparently we're fresh off a robbery, and we got caught in a storm trying to escape. Apparently things went bad. We lost some people, and uh, now we're just kind of trying to find food, shelter, all that kind of stuff. Over here. Brought some food back, boys. Is that horse shit? Get these over to Pearson. Oh, and, uh, thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. I like Charles. Oh, look how you can see, like, the individual hairs on the deer and how snow is, like, gathered up in there. All he's been doing is riding horses. Boring. Well, well, well. <laughs> Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. Find a camp <laughs> rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now, shoot, get lost. Uh, well... Later. No, there, so there's many different fine. biomes. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. So it won't be all You're snow. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> huh. Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. Seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> huh? You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one that you dumped on the floor there. Old Y to skin the deer. Woo! Ooh! Ooh, it's even more detailed. Oh god. Oh, it's even more detailed than the last game. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> make a good stew. Folk need it. Ooh, and now we're hanging days. it. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is not one for the uh, faint. The Master Hunter Challenge. We're going to have to check our log and see what that's about. Week. Dutch yeah, the first one Dutch, was quite a while back. Busy yeah. making plans and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Leviticus Cornwall. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respects, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You're still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. Aw. He's seeing me now. Well, what's left of me? What about you? 
Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, <laughs> Abigail. We all know it. Oh, no. Now, oh, railway no. man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutchie. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Well, he's a big railway magnate, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. <laughs> Y'all nasty. Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Well, here we go. Everyone ready? All right, let's head out. Ooh, one of three deer skin. Okay. Compendium updated on the white-tailed deer. Oh, you have to hold it. Nice. This is going to be a big set piece, probably. Uh, it was in cutscenes. I don't think it was as graphic. Yeah, it really wasn't. They didn't really show much. I mean, you would see the skinned animal afterward, but not quite as bad as watching the flesh tear open and ripping the skin off. Straight for the back. For the That's back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. Ooh. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough. After Bill blows the tracks, we're going to need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now, come on. Let's ride. Cool. I looked away. Oh man. Yeah, it is pretty graphic, huh? Um Girl Child, you were talking about Taima? Was an Indian chief that lived from 1790 to 1830 in the Midwest. Uh interesting. Yeah. Well, this is 1899. Yeah, uh, look at these. Look at these trees. Yeah. Charles said he had a Native American heritage, yeah. This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Yeah, Javier is in the first out, game Dutch. as well. You sure you're ready for this, kid? A lot of these of guys are in the first game. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. Paul, what's up, dude? Right. There'll be a 
Yeah, they all seem on good terms. Yeah, John is part of the gang. He's just wounded, you know. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Easy. I'm assuming we might learn more soon about what what made John is Bill there? Yeah. The you want to head down? See how he's getting on? Happened. Okay. Check on Bill. Uh, guess I can go down this way. Yeah, it looks like there's a trail. You got to be very careful because what I read is... I haven't read much on this game, but one of the things I did read was that your horses have permadeath, so... But, and I'm very close to this horse now. I, I'm already attached, man. How you getting off? Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? <laughs> Alright. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. This is cool. Now we're learning about dynamite. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Let's go, boy. Hmm. <laughs> I read that you have to put them down if they get too hurt. <laughs> I don't want to. I know it's the right thing to do, but yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. That sounds terrible. Ride your horse off a cliff. I will never come back here. Oh my god. <laughs> we got we got followers on the line here. <laughs> no, I, I, I definitely never do that on purpose. And, and hopefully it won't happen on accident either. What's going on? He says all fine. That's we'll something I would do. Out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any... Switch to the item wheel. Noise. Now, if a horse just glitches off a cliff or bridge, Gentlemen, then my following is safe. Terrible. You are out skinning animals. What's worse than that? Oh, you about to see. You stay tuned, Jazzy. You all know what to do. You'll see. We gonna do a whole lot worse, Jazzy. Joe is, yeah, Joe is always walking off cliffs. Often backwards. He's often stepping backwards. Up. Shit! No! What? God! Oh, you have got to be kidding me! Where did you find that moron? Who said it was fine? Oh, my Come fault. on! You're pathetic. You know that? Wait, are we? Twenty-five percent to level three. Oh my God! Well, Javier ain't coming with us. Help! I got you. Now stop yelling. Help! Papa. Yeah, you're okay. Okay, I had to tap a. Where's Javier? He fell. The others will get him. Stop 
Fucking, you gotta be shitting me. Yeah, we fucked that up. I I thought I was grabbing his gun. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. <laughs> Jassy, <laughs> Jassy's always jumping off. Yeah, that's true. Whoops. No, I couldn't figure out how to put him down. I thought I could sneak up and do like a stealth thing, but nah, he turned around like... Okay, I, I'm gonna use the... Well... Let's use the pistol. getting the hang of it. No, I have not beaten Odyssey. I'm afraid that is one We have to stop this train. One that we're going to be putting off for a little while. I'm 60 hours in, Marcus is over 70 hours in.
Got him. No, I haven't I haven't finished Spider-Man either. Barely see him. Oh, that's our guys. We don't have time to play games. Let's see if I can get some ammo. We we are gonna yeah we are gonna go back to Spider-Man and Assassin's Creed but you know this this game to me is is way more important this is a game uh, I sunk myself into the first entry of uh, the Red Dead series and I loved it I got fully immersed in it I had a really great time it definitely one of the best games I've played in my lifetime. So yeah, we definitely got to make time for this one and give it, give it that extra special attention. Cause it's and it's worth it too. But yeah, I am a little sad that Peter Parker kind of got pushed off to the side. I'm very excited about uh, finishing Spider-Man. Hopefully, Assassin's Creed's story will pick up a little bit. It's it's kind of gotten a little boring now that you're. You're just chasing after cult leaders, cult members, and whatnot. Huh. Oh, shit. somebody in that car that maybe A little miracle tonic like a day of odyssey spider-man in this yeah i'm gonna try to kind of swap between them and yeah the spider-man recently had its uh uh, DLC come out. Yeah, Odyssey is really long, and I, I think it's starting to really get stale, in my opinion. I I don't think the story is, has done much. Didn't have a very strong foundation. And so while it is a lengthy game, and there's a lot to do, and you have a lot of fun... There really isn't a story to carry everything. It's the number one game stream right now. Even beat Fortnite and PUBG. You have to understand, every time Rockstar puts out a game, it's a fucking masterpiece. So yeah, everybody's dropping just about everything you can imagine for this game. I mean, people are going to be... the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Why did I pick Listen him up? Me. I we didn't don't mean to do that. To but yeah, of you. you know. Any more of you. <laughs> People are calling in sick, sick word, to work, not going to school. Because of this. We will. That's how good this I stuff is. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We Five. Open in this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. It looks steel. Wake him up a little. Ooh, that's 
Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Yeah, I, I could tell from looking with the bolts and stuff that everything was... You now, know. it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. I wouldn't warn him. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. We don't <laughs> yeah, now you're all scared, aren't you? We just want to rob your boss. Yeah. Get on up there. Search that train. Gladly. <laughs> Hang on, there's a guy I didn't loot right here. Yeah, Battlefield 5 will be a big one too, yeah. Nothing's quite as big as this. I mean, you had other games, even Call of Duty, wanted to launch their game early and keep it away from this game. Because you, you don't want to launch the same day or the same week. As Red Dead. Go on, loot the train. Quick. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Now I've seen everything. I don't understand the hype. Well, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Yeah, Should lots, be easy lots of hype. as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. So, see if we can read this. Me and this. Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump talk. on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Leviticus Cornwall from Leland okay. Oil Development See if Company. We can get this open. Dear Mr. Cornwall, we are yet to receive uh, payment of $2,000 for the initial uh, phase of exploration at the Wapiti Indian Reservation Amberino. As agreed in the contract between Cornwall Kerosene and Tar and the Leland Oil there. Development Company, See? dated November 9, 1898. Done. On receipt Shit. of the funds, we Just will proceed with phases two and three Bunch? of the project and present you with a detailed so. report of our findings yeah. within the month. Yourself Yours useful. respectfully, James you Critchley, head of accounts, <laughs> Leland Oil Development Company. Would you kind of shut the fuck up while I'm trying to read this? Railroad I mean, come on, like, what the hell is this? Invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies? A lot I'm of I'm gonna take that brandy. Some... Fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe? <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. Ooh, platinum pocket watch. Yeah, that looks nice. Hey. Cabinets. Where... Let's celebrate with a stogie. Wait, he just does one puff? Oh, come on. Luck, Nothing much yet. Yeah, if you guys would Let's shut the fuck up, I could, uh, you know, maybe read these letters yeah, to my please. stream. I mean... Oh my gosh, that map on the table? These just seem to be contracts. Arthur, have you that looks the like the map... Oh my god, shut the fuck up. Jeez. <sighs> Keep looking. There must be Okay, something. I'm fucking looking. I wish it would pause the game while you're looking at a letter so I can read it. Um, Come on. Let's hurry this along, boys. I summon the mighty Joe to the haunted forest. They really are chatty Cathy's, yeah. English only, please. Oh my god. 
Uh, dear Levit Leviticus, thank you for the telegram and for your continued interest in the Jameson Mining Company. However, any news that you have received of mismanagement or, mismanagement or financial difficulties at the mine in Ansberg are simply fake, and I would urge you to question your sources. The coal industry is quite different from the oil industry in a number of ways, so I certainly remain open to a business meeting at your convenience to exchange ideas and ed educate each other on our respective areas of corporate expertise. I would also be delighted to host you in Ansberg and give you a personal tour of the mine and his associated facilities. Um, I look forward to further correspondence. Yours sincerely, Archibald Jameson. Cool. That map, I was going to say, looks a lot like the map I got. So I actually have that. That's kind of cool. There's more cigars. Now this looks like some. Bonds, maybe? Yeah. How about you got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> it's a fox. No fox given. Uh. Sure, we don't want that art. Hang on. Search drawer. Are you done? Premium cigarettes and a stack of bills. Ooh, fifty one dollars now. Let's see, Dead Eye is at level two. Eating too much or too little will make you become overweight or underweight. If you are overweight, stamina will be affected nev negatively and health will improve. If you are underweight, health will be affected negatively and stamina will improve. Interesting. <laughs> Google Translate, here I come. Let's have a look at our... Uh... What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? Huh. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride! Probably should have put my mask back on after, uh... It might be late now. Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three of you. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Come on.
Go to the engine car. Yeah, we won't kill him. I, I don't think there's any reason to. Sixty-six cents, though. <laughs> Start the train. You get pictures of Goku? I don't know why. Yeah, we'll just send them on their way. Hopefully having my bandana off during that cutscene uh, does not come back to bite me. Because I just did it so I could try that stogie. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> well, we're leaving the snowy mountains, Jassy. We're leaving the snowy mountains because you didn't like it, so we're going. Get over here! Yes, boss. Hmm. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Hero for hire. Back left. Ah, shit. Fuck. Okay, let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. Hey there. There. See? You 
You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Uh oh. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Yeah, that is cool so, that you can do that. Yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? <laughs> we don't. True. Despite it, that's just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. <laughs> so, oh, look at what the happened to your child? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. They told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Uh-oh. That doesn't still sound good. Heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, You're working now girls. Hot. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. Well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but... You didn't like his voice him at first. Fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real I quite like it. I'm a little torn. I'm, I'm used maybe. to John Marston. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. It's a little Me, more gruff. You, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time, and we're still here. So very southern, but not you know right not too to southern. That's we got it wrong. Incoherent. Oh, ducks. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. 
had some yarrow. Variety of plants can be used throughout the world. Pick them to learn about their properties. I think the gruffness can sometimes feel to try hard, to try hard. Compendium tracks. Let me see if I can do this right. Okay. American ginseng. Panax quinquilfolius. Hopefully I'm saying that right. American ginseng shrubs can be identified by their large palmate leaves, smooth stems, and small cluster of red berries. The cluster of berries are smaller than the clusters found on Alaskan ginseng. Uh, these plants are native to forests and moist areas, from West Elizabeth to the edges of New Hanover. This medicinal plant can be crafted into medicine or consumed to replenish your health core. Uh, so it says total progress, 0%. Haven't picked any. Haven't used any of the recipes. Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess... I, I think time will tell as to whether his voice is, you know, maybe too gruff, a little, you know, trying to be a little too rough and tough, Western-sounding. Uh, it says it can be crafted into a potent miracle tonic, is what it says in the bottom left corner there. So, interesting. Yarrow. Achillea millifolium. Uh, yarrow is easily recognized by the long, thin stems and red clusters of flowers. This plant can be found in grasslands and open forest areas in New Hanover and Lemoyne. Yarrow can be consumed in and replenish your health core or crafted into medicine. Can be crafted into a potent health cure. Look at that. He even has like scuffs on his boots. You see that? The detail is really crazy. I think it would be fun to try this in first person as well. I do like how the cinematic camera sort of handles these moments, you know? It makes sure that you stick to the road, and then while they're conversating, it's, uh, it's definitely good. Hang on, are we going the right way? Valentine, yeah. Boy, we got really far behind the group. scenery is really good. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. This is the difference between Red Dead and Assassin's Creed. The little details, the textures, everything's perfect, man. In Assassin's Creed, you could look at a rock and, and it just looks so rough. The textures were just not good. But then again, you know, their studios are divided on multiple games, variety of genres, on multiple platforms, you know. Rockstar, they, they take their time, you know. They work on a game for six to eight years or more. And really make sure they know what they're doing. I'm following this way because it looks like the tracks are a little more fresh. 
trash, so. I'm gonna double check. Yeah. Yep, radar says we're all good. Well, here's hoping we don't get, like, ambushed by Indians or something. Ubisoft treats their employees better. Yeah, I, th I think we're going to learn more about how uh, Rockstar Games handles crunch. Because uh, I think a lot of devs are talking about their experiences. And I don't know, that could be risky to talk about stuff like that. But I, I think it's very necessary. I, I think it's important. Because even as a consumer, I, I would rather them delay a game and, and not stress their employees and to do a good job. But, you know, of course that's not the way things work. You know, things have to be out by a certain deadline, stuff like that. Yeah, and apparently it was worse, especially when Team Bondi was on the, uh, on the hook for uh, L.A. Noir. Uh, apparently they were treated extremely poorly and uh, I've heard that Ubisoft does yeah and I've, I've actually seen several tours uh, in videos of uh, Ubisoft uh, Montreal Canada and, th and that looks like a beautiful are, studio brother. and it looks like Head they're doing the quite well there bit. thanks Why did they let Javi off? Maybe just to wait okay, for us, go. make sure it was safe. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Huh. Naughty Dog is apparently bad. Well, they did. When, I guess when you come out with really, really fine games, I guess it is pretty hard to make sure everyone's treated well and respectfully. And that crunch is not too difficult. And the long hours they put in away from their families. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. Place. It's perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I'm, I'm the only one still wearing one. winter gear. We were the two of us, big. I guess. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together, kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time. For everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named Valentine. 
Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, <laughs> we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. <laughs> That's cool how he kind of has his coat off to the side. Around his gun. Horseshoe Overlook. A couple of weeks later, back in the mud. We got off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Wow. Ain't been this Look far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. Looks like his hair has grown a bit and his beard. Jose. Eat, drink, right and rest day. to maintain your course. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something. You're looking good with that beard. I, I think we do lake, need apparently. to keep it kind of trim, and you know? And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. <laughs> Compendium updated. Camera. Hang on. We got to see what this is. View, edit, and share your photos on Social Club. I guess that's all you can do. You, you can't, like, examine it more. Well, that's cool. So that, that's, that means we're going to be able to take screenshots and stuff in this game. I wonder if it'll be as good as... You know, I was really impressed by the Spider-Man one. Quite a bit. And Dutch is a pimp. Look at that hair. Uh, bonuses are tied to how products sell. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so devs say, uh, don't boycott the products, but call for more transparency and support. The dev team... For the dev team, I guess. Uh, and, and don't crow about delays and $60 game prices, which I agree with. I think I do as well. Yeah, I think uh, I, I think um, anytime a game is delayed, I always know it's for a good reason, you know. And I often think that it's better for the game in the end, you know, to have, you know, a lot of these games, especially like this one, I, I think they need plenty of time to be able to work on the game. And so I'm, I'm not mad if they think something needs improvement or whatever it is, if they have to go back to their drawing board and something... I, I really don't get upset. As excited as I get about a lot of these games, I, I've seen too many games get rushed. Either all together or at the end, and then they just end up coming up a little shitty. Um, but yeah, I think uh, more transparency and, and support. And, you know, just remembering to treat the devs they're humans too, you know? Like, don't... You know, some, some people are so rude online when they get the chance to speak with developers and share their thoughts and opinions, and often they aren't sharing them in the most constructive way. Um, and I think $60 is probably pretty reasonable, and I think we're lucky that we haven't seen an increase in, in price over games, but I do think microtransactions and season passes, I think those need to probably... Uh, I don't like microtransactions at all. Season passes, I don't mind paying for more content. But 
I think we've been swindled on a couple season passes as to what the length and the quality of said DLC would be in certain games. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely don't boycott. I don't think that's going to solve anything. Uh, hopefully calling for transparency and support helps. I mean, I don't know what other other solutions or what else you could do. Ammo, health, supplies can be found around the camp. Current stock levels are shown near the tithing box. Your beard is getting long. You can use the shaving kit in your tent or visit a barber shop to maintain your facial hair. Who's that photograph of? Each day a person will make stew, which you can eat from the pot. Beatrice Morgan, Spring Rocks, 1870. First okay. bank robbery newspaper scrap. April 15, 1887, brazen wow. bank robbery. Three men sought. Major T.J. Belford has been a cashier at the banking house of Lee and Hoyt for a number of years, but nothing prepared him for what transpired last week. It was about two o'clock. Three men, strangers to me, come through the door and walked up to the counter. One of them, the eldest of the three, was a fine talker and engaged me in conversation. Suddenly the largest, a big, sullen young man, brandished a firearm and held it to my face. Throw up your hands, the third one said, who appeared to be the boss. The other two repeated the order with an oath, and the leader said, My fine, patriotic friends and I are going to relieve you of that gold and introduce a few folks to the benefits of civilization. They came around the counter and grabbed some sacks, which contained 5,000 in gold. They demanded to know where the rest of the money was, and I pointed out three sacks containing silver, but it was too bulky for them. They retreated, and one warned against sounding an alarm. I was never so terrified in my life, Mr. Belford told the reporter. The robbers are t reported to have lingered in town, and there are unproven claims that the men traveled in hovels and shanties and even a home for orphans and gave handfuls of the ill-gotten gains to the poor. Wow. That is cool. <laughs> Glycerin tar soap. Stops diseases, eruptions. Works in soft something. Hard waters. Hmm. Doesn't say who that is. Zoological companion. And moose are difficult to run down in such instances, furnishing poor sport. Look not only down, but up when tracking moose, for they break twigs, bend branches, and tear the ground up quite significantly. I think we can, yeah, we might, we might read that. Uh, the badger. Many a man who nearly broke his neck or leg is cursed this animal. For in its pursuit of prey, it takes to digging holes, 
These quickly are covered by leaves or weeds, and along comes a rider into a death trap. I have been thrown from my horse on several occasions as it stepped into a badger hole. I got up covered in dust, cursed to the heavens, then took to killing everyone I could find within miles, wiping out an entire species, of which I feel only lingering regret. At times, nature should be left to its own devices, up until the point where it inconveniences me. Then it should be eradicated. When approaching its hole, this idiotic creature will pop its head out to see what is coming. Place a shot between the eyes, take the fur, and throw the rest into the stew pot. Uh, the skunk. Those... Let's see how long this is, because... Oh, good. Okay. It's not too bad. Uh, the skunk. Those who raise game birds or chickens are likely to hate the skunk for marauding about hen houses, but farmer and forester alike should leave these beasts alone. Many take to shooting skunks for short, however they eat quite a large amount of insect larvae, which helps crops and prevents infestation of moths and caterpillars. When you upset the balance of nature, man must pay from his pocketbook for artificial substances to rid of infestations when you could have left well enough alone. A note on animals, water, and debilitation. Serious sickness often takes a household when fouled water is drunk. This can debilitate a man from hunting or farming, and instead he is resigned to the outhouse while his spouse looks on in mournful derision and pity. As he neither pleases her in the bedroom nor provides ingredients for bread for the supper table. Creatures are thirsty too and will fall into your well, spreading disease before it is discovered. Obtain a cask and layer small pebbles, charcoal, and a layer of sand inside. Attach a faucet at the bottom in order to draw off the water. This will provide perfect drinking water, even if it tastes slightly like a dead raccoon. Interesting. Oh, hang on. What is this other book? Rambles Through the Woods and Plains. Oh, wow. Okay. A Field Guide to the Botanical Kingdom. When I immediately stumbled upon an old woman with some crow garlic. No, this is... Not a bulb of garlic sold by a miserable old crone. Indeed, she had less teeth than fingers <laughs> and a peculiar distemper for spewing auguries and potents. Portents. Uh, but I purchased the crow garlic from her anyway. It is a lovely perennial that is a wild onion rather than garlic, but is delicious cooked in bread. Knowledge of native medicinal plants and herbs is essential for any frontiersman. Disorders of the blood are frequent, and having a fellow in camp that can exercise the demon of jaundice using a few hand-picked herbs boiled in a tea is essential. My hope, dear reader, is that you will take the knowledge in this book so that you may identify all plants and herbs and use that awareness for good. It has come to my notice that a few individuals have purchased my book and taken the information herein in order to con concoct fermentations to bring a curtain of oblivion down on the evening, awakening the next day piled on one another like sweaty sacks of potatoes, knowing not what kind of lewd, carnal, ostentatiousness took hold by firelight. It's <laughs> talking about sets. Uh, the very idea. Goodness gracious. Macropiota procara this is a commonly known as the parasol mushroom. In some regions, it's called the snake's hat. Snakes, of course, do not wear hats. They do, however, talk on occasion. The parasol mushroom is delicious to cook, but should not be eaten raw. As there are toxins that will give you a very unfavorable view of the world, and your gastrointestinal distress will surely be remarked upon. Emerla badia. Uh, the mushroom is known as the bay bullet. 
These are quite common and can be found in large numbers. These are lovely to cook with garlic and give a distinctive taste of rotted wood that pairs well with a merlot. Do not be worried about the bluish marks that can occur on the underside. Like humans, these mushrooms bruise. They might hold on to that. That could be handy. Change clothing. The summer gunslinger. The winter gunslinger. Nuevo Pariso. Okay, these are some of the uh, costumes I've unlocked. The brawler's outfit. The ruffian. The rebel. The innocent. The Pursuer. Feels like we're turning a corner. Honestly, most of these make you look like a tool. Yeah, I think some of them do. That's cool that you can choose whether you want to wear a hat. And I assume we'll probably get access to more, uh, more of these as we play the game. Huh. Interesting. Jeans, work pants, cuff town pants. Suspenders. Huh, chaps. Ropers. Yeah, that's what my dad wore and I often wore ropers. Workman boots, rambler boots, plated rambler boots. Ooh, you can pick the spurs. So you can get real fancy ones with a snake on it. Uh, masks. Okay, that's a bit much. Yeah, I think the regular bandana is enough. Neckwear, you can have a neckerchief. Cool. Range gloves. Weapon equipment. Pistol belt. Wow, you can really... There's a snake in my boot. <laughs> Primary holsters. Wow, that's really cool that you can change this kind of stuff. Bandolier. I wonder if this affects anything. Satchels. We just have the one. Talismans. Permanently increases the time that Eagle Eye can stay active for five seconds. Are active no matter which ones are showing. Oh, okay. Well. Wait, are my spurs showing? Yeah, I kind of like my spurs. There are horses hitched nearby. Lyle Morgan, Larceny, 12-7-1874. Hosea, Dutch, and Arthur. Wow, that must have been when they were young or something. Oh, look at the doggy. 
Okay, I think we've done enough inspecting. Bring Pearson animals to supply the camp. He can use the meat oh, for food and skins to craft satchels with increased capacity. It's coming, it's coming. Simro with the raid. How's it going, Sim? What's wrong? Thought you'd be happy to be off that mountain. Oh, I don't know. You ain't been yourself for a while. <laughs> How's being a cowboy treating me? Uh, it's I don't been know. Good. I don't want to talk about it. The American Inferno. A few thoughts upon New York. Might have to look at that later. I'm I'm getting a little, a little weary of reading at the moment. I've read a couple of books. Molly's poem. I was a girl until your call commanded me to cross the sea. I've nothing left. I gave you all. My darling Liffy was so small, your landed lover vast and free. I was a girl until your call. You stood so strong and dark and tall, you stole the heartbeat out of me. I have nothing left, I gave you all. Your lips enchant, your eyes enthrall. Your empire is of ecstasy. I was a girl until your call. Oh no. Your parasites and lackeys crawl, mocking a love they dare not see. I have nothing left, I gave you all. I sit in solitude and scrawl these wretched words and wait for thee. I was a girl until your call. I have nothing left. I gave you all. How about some snaps for that? Lovely poem. Oh, hang on. Does it say anything on the back? I'm I'm glad we've read her private thoughts and how she's just really bitter about being here. Oh my god, there's so many f books in the game. <laughs> An American Eden. We are not fools, for fools cannot see their idiocy. We are somehow worse than fools, for we will ourselves to do things of such profound stupidity, despite knowing that we will hate what we have built. The real America can only be found not in desires, but in the purity of its landscape. I hate spoken world poetry jams so fucking much. <laughs> oh, man. Well, there you go. By picking them up, are they added? That's a good question. I will take a look. If it'd be under equipment, wouldn't it? Cigarette cards. think so I would very much like to be able to revisit some of these books later <laughs> got you there tough guy <laughs> just name the place my friend just name the place yeah I'll fucking shoot you any day <laughs> asshole Ooh, some cowboy coffee? 
Oh, hell yeah. We used to have this on Boy Scout camping trips. Uh, Sim. Dude, thanks for coming by, man. I've, I've definitely enjoyed this game. I'm definitely 10 out of 10 so far. But dude, have a good night. Get some rest. And uh, I'm glad you had fun tonight. Alright. I guess we'd better get a moving. Hang on. Let's have a look. Uh, should I keep thinking the back button is the map? Let me take a look at the map here. Fully understand what's going on here. I think I'm good on ammunition. Uncle has a quest. A daily meal of soup is prepared in the camp made with the best parts of the latest hunted game. The soups help to revitalize the gang members and can provide a variety of health benefits. So it says we're in the Heartlands NH. Provisions. Uh, the butcher. Wait, what does it say about provisions? Pearson's wagon is used to store the camp's food supplies. Any camp member is free to take items from the wagon. If supplies are low, this may lower the morale of the camp, so it isn't everyone's best interest to keep the wagon well stocked. Pearson is a camp butcher and leather worker. Any hunted game should be brought to him to work with. Meat will be stored in his truck wagon to be used in soups. Fine skins and bones will be kept for crafting camp furnishings and satchels, and all other animal parts will be donated to the camp funds. Health supplies, so Strauss is kind of our uh, medic, as it were, I guess. Well, hey, I really appreciate all you guys being here and supporting the stream, and it's it's been really cool to sort of talk about different things in this game and to, to be really excited about it as well. Uh, okay. Potential purchases that could be beneficial as well. Uh, you won't let me go sleep to sleep because you keep streaming. I, I think we're going to go just a little while longer and kind of get our bearings. Because I, I would rather stream this, you know, tomorrow morning or something. Uh, I'd, I'd much rather do that than... Uh... Then stay up late tonight and sleep all day tomorrow, you know? If you bring me the right materials. Oh, look at that one. It has a cross on it. Purchase leather working tools. Upgrade the medicine wagon Remember, twice. You won't find something like this anywhere else. Hmm. Arthur's lodging. <laughs> you could put an alligator skull. A cougar pelt covered chest. Boar skin table cover. That's quite nice. Ox hide rug. A boar skin rug for John. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you can, you can sort of provide for people. A pronghorn leather tabletop. Pronghorn skull. Wait, what? Oh, there's a guitar and a banjo. Campfire seat covers. That, that'd be nice. Log seat cover. I'm wondering if there's going to be more. Hanging bones. Um... I'm kidding, you I'll do need some you. More materials before uh, I can make something and when like in that. the morning I have a doctor's appointment and errands. <laughs> um I I I don't know. Because uh, 'cause I'm in central time. Uh so like right now it's two twenty five AM. Uh I I Thanks, I'd say eleven or twelve maybe I'll start streaming. So it might be more afternoon. I mean, unless I wake up early and I'm just, like, really, you know, <laughs> uh, energized or whatnot. I'm down to the scraps here now, Mr. Morgan.
fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Hang on. Okay, it's keeping track of the letters and anything I've picked up. I can look at those. How do I play open world games? Uh, typically, I, I really do a lot of exploring. And often a lot of side quests. God, that looks good. You'll need to wait a few days before being able to grab another. Oh man, does that look good. Wait, have we... Is this guy still alive? We just keep this guy tied up. My name ain't no concern of yours. I'm hungry. I don't give a damn. Look, y you seem like a decent feller behind it all. Then you ain't a good judge of character. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll leave it there now. Oh my gosh, I keep pressing back instead of... Reverend Swanson. Javier Escuela. Gunsmith. Doctor, butcher, hotel, show, saloon, barber, general store, stagecoach, and post office. Well, should we see what Uncle wants first here in the camp? Are you going to purchase a working girl? Is that an option? I guess the answer is, uh, I don't know. I assume so. Yeah, it might be. Might be possible. Marion Williamson is hereby honorably discharged At because of, wait, oh, dishonorably, sorry. Apparently I can't read. Uh, <laughs> by reason of attempted murder and deviancy, day of this 27th of December, 1892, Colonel Harold T. Irving, 15th Infantry. Oh, well. Learn a little bit about Bill Williamson, I guess. Ah, uh, look at that heart going right up. Case of the Deceitful German. Okay. Jose enjoys crime novels. Find one for him. Hosea and Bessie. Eighteen eighty eight. Eighteen eighty three, sorry. Dear, my dear Leonard, it is only, 
Only three days since you and your mother stood on the platform so dutifully till my train was out of sight, and I already feel compelled to write. How handsome you look then. You must learn, learn chastity young and learn it well. Uh, there are truths a man of my upbringing finds it easier to set down than to speak, even to his son. I expect this is not easy for a boy to understand. In some ways, I hope you do not understand it. Here is one such truth. Truth. I know that I have sometimes been more of a tutor than father, but I do not let my sermons on your future as a lawyer persuade you that I see you more as a pupil than son. When we meet again on Sunday next, I expect I will have stiffened once more. But this brief distance gives me liberty to tell you that you have redeemed more than you know, or can ever know, or should ever be expected to bear. I expect the yard to be clear of snow when I return. I see that it bores you, but you must learn to accommodate yourself to all useful labor, however menial. And as always, read this letter aloud to your mother, and where I have written is not, do not say ain't. I am as ever your loving father. Hopefully I'll be able to keep everyone in camp straight. Seems like you will be building relationships with them. Yeah, I think so as well, yeah. Hi. Wait, is this the tent we already looked through? Yeah, it is. Sorry, Molly. <laughs> I'm just looking at your private poetry. So this is supposedly John's. Arthur. Well, I should get back to it. All right, then. All right, then. The castle above the moor. A romance of old England. That is quite cool. What do you do with the hay bales? Daily chores around the camp. Oh yeah, this sounds fun. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Jassy's just like rolling her eyes at this game right now. He's like, are you kidding me? So do you have to keep? Take the sack to Pearson's wagon. Can you analyze the various horses? I'm very pro making friends with all the horses. That's a good idea. I didn't think of that. Thank you for mentioning that. Yeah, let's see what we can look at here. Ooh, dead eyes improving. 50% of the way to level 3. This is a Tennessee Walker. Red Rowan coat. This one's pretty. Silver Dark Bay. Old boy. 
I think, the, did they say that old boy was Bill Williamson's horse, I think? Maggie, a light Palomino. Old Bell, smoky black. It's a racehorse, it says. Maggie is a cute name for a horse, isn't it? This is Morgan, a flaxen chestnut. Old boy, silver dark bay. Were we looking through one horse and at another instead, I think? Yeah, I don't think we were actually looking at this brown horse right here. Yeah, because look, it's saying study now. Uh, this is a chestnut Tennessee walker. Maggie is a cute name. It really is. And I, I quite like the, the saddlebags in the, in the canteen there. Look at how elegant that saddle is. I think we're going to have to keep an eye on whose horse that is. That's Uncle. Let's not talk to him just yet. I, I wonder if these chores are endless or, or what. Top up water in the wash bin. Old boy is really pretty. Yeah. There's my horse right there. Hey, Morgan. Is anybody getting me some? Yeah, that looks solid. <laughs> Spunky TTV. I don't know what that is. How are you doing, though? Oh, wow. I'm like, get out of the way, lady. I got chores to do. Alright, hopefully we don't have to do... Okay, maybe that's all the chores for the day. Oh, oh, the... Ah, there's another feeding point. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense then. Does that mean there are more horses? Oh, there's more horses. Ooh, let's go see the horses. Yes. Oh, look at this white one here. Yeah. The Count. This, this is Dutch's horse. Oh my god, look at the speed and acceleration. It's nearly max. It's an albino. Handling elite. Good God. <clears throat> Sabino. Nell the second. Speed and acceleration. Handling standard. Hello, Arthur. So you like the new camp, Jack? Sure. It's fine. That's my horse. Tennessee Walker, Mahogany Bay. So you can pat, lead, feed. Maybe we should. Feeding your horse will replenish its cores. Oh, that's good. 
Yeah, good boy. Yeah, we definitely want to make sure that the horse is doing well. Okay, I guess we'll wake Uncle. Hang on, it's... Is there still more? Are you kidding me? What else is there to do? Oh, there is another sack of supplies. I guess I could carry that real quick. What happened to the first now? Yeah, I'm a little scared. A little scared now. Dude, those... Yeah, the stats on J Dutch's horse. Jeez. Yeah, someday. We just gotta grow our bond here. I don't know if it'll let us name our horse, but if it does, we need to think of a, a good name. Is this amusing to you? Seventy-five percent to level three. All that extra work pays off. All right, let's see what Uncle wants. You okay there, Tilly? I'm okay. Warm, at least. Could do with getting out of here for a bit. I'm sure. <laughs> Alright, let's see what Uncle wants. Ow! 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 Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? <laughs> sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. I forgot to trim you my beard. take the old man into town. Take us too? Why, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a rob, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. Their <laughs> hairstyles. I'm gonna love it. Okay then, let's go. All right, out through the trees here, then take a left. <laughs> What's going on, game? Okay, then. I thought it was doing that on its own. I guess not. Yeah. I guess it's not going to automatically get on that road there. Thank you. Ladies. A song. <laughs> I got a girl in Fairyville. Can't be screwed because she's too damn ill. So I don't go down there no more. This blue horse laid outside her door. <laughs> I had a girl in Valentine. <laughs> Likes to drink that fancy wine. Blue in her hat with two feet tall. Cracking her pants, they pour it all. <laughs> I had a girl in Fairyville. Can't get in her because she won't stay still. Reels and farts and hollers Won't take less than seven 
Oh dear. Can we can we get to town a little quicker, please? <laughs> oh man. Hey, power lines. Can't be too far from civilization. Yep. Get my other horse back from over there, could you? I'd really appreciate it. Go on, Arthur. A shire, light gray, handling heavy. Easy there. Easy. It's okay. Easy. You're okay. Easy there. Thought I might have to last a good girl. We doing a nice thing. That was cringy and hilarious. Here, here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, Positive anyway, actions make you. you more honorable. Dude, that guy's got a massive mustache. The singing, yeah, absolutely. It was. Come on, let's go! To Valentine! <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, train's here. It's gone. There we go. Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> Very funny. Uh. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. I wonder. Yeah, that sure is kind of interesting. Back up there. You think we I mean, it does say that you can rob us? like stores oh, and no. homes it's and so stuff on your own. now for the likes of us, or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay, take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Well, there's the saloon, sheriff, pharmacy. Go left here, down the main street. Sheriff's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. 
Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Another saloon. Yes, we can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Blacksmith. Let's up down the end there, near the stables. All right, here we are, just like I said, a cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask why. The one-shot. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Afternoon. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. You're not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe it's easier to browse like so, this. You're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. Well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. Hair pomade. Let's go wait for the mouth side. Apply to hair to slick it back. Interesting. What's my drink of choice? Uh, are you talking alcoholic or just regular or what? Ammunition. Arrows. Lotion. I thought we had a percolator. I can't. $15 for a watch. Also, if you stream this weekend, I will probably show at some point drunk. <laughs> Funny. Um... Horse Reviver, Stimulant. Do not be cruel to your horses. Ooh, outfits. The Vaquero. The Valentine. Ooh, can we get a bowler? Oh, that'd be cool. The Claremont. The Drew Dewberry Creek. So you can get a Trilby. A Panama hat. Oh, it's starting to get interesting. Stalker, the Military Scout. The worn flat cap. Oh, we can. There's a bowler. There's a rolled derby. A state boss. 
worn gambler's hat. The duster coat. Oh, we got definitely got to get a duster at some point. Shotgun, frock, scout jacket, rambler jacket. Everyday shirt. Ooh, a paisley vest. That would be quite nice. Yeah, I saw that possum skin hat. That would be really cool to get. It looks like it might be craftable or something. Wow, a lot of choice. Boots, gloves. He said to get some coffee, so let's let's look at that. Cocaine gum. Let's zoom on that. Marina Madrani cocaine chewing gum stimulates and invigorates. Cures indigestion, apathy, and monotony. Delicious taste. Children love it. Who doesn't love a man with suspenders? They're usually not weird or creepy. True. Tina, what's up, man? How's it going? Cover scent lotion. Predator bait attracts all medium and large size fish. Live worms. But do we have to buy coffee itself though? That's what I don't understand. Maybe it's under provisions. Let's see. Baked beans, canned peas, blah, 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 salmon, strawberries. Tender pork loin, prime beef joint. Biscuits, bread. Oh, there's some coffee for a dollar. Candies, oat cakes. Fine brandy, Kentucky bourbon, cigars, cigarettes, chewing tobacco. Can you imagine children okay, cocaine? They're crazy without it. Yeah, I couldn't. That, that is kind of scary. I'd like to get some pomade. Do not put your dog down. Oh my god. Simply because you did not order the correct dog remedies. Our medicines and cures rarely fail. Our patented dog soaps are entirely free of poison. Other soaps used in destroying fleas, lice, and ticks can kill your animal. Fuck. Okay, hang on. We saw a... Um, now that we know we can view the ads more specifically. Um, let me... Let me flick ahead, because we saw in the hats. We did see that. Yeah, let's see right here. Uh, it says, with items from our sewing department, you can make a possum skin hat. I want to preview some of these. Oh, Boy, that one is really ragged. I'd perhaps want to find one that's maybe a little nicer. Let's look at the bowler. I actually... Probably like one in black if we were to... Let's see what this roll derby looks like. Oh, that's quite nice, yeah. A little more formal. Uh, one of my cats is snoring so loudly. He's the only cat I know that snores. My mom heard it once, thought it was me snoring. 
Also, he drools when he's happy and purring from being pet. Oh my gosh, that is kind of hilarious. Nazi soldiers actually chewed cocaine gum. I did not know that, but, you know. <laughs> Ooh, I actually really like that in gray. What do you guys think? Gray or maybe black? We need a full outfit, though, so we'll wait. We'll wait big city hat that's a little more closer to what I'm wearing to my hat maybe a big valley hat eh, it's got a bit of a longer brim than my hat does that is really cool that we can change the colors though you like the gray I, I think the gray is quite good yeah I do wish you could maybe uh, mess with the shape of the hat. That would be a really cool feature, but perhaps a little too complicated. Also, the Washington Post wrote a great article on the Nazis taking a shitload of drugs, like Hitler to glucose, 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 got injections so he could hold his arm in the salute for a long ass time. That's scary. That is terrifying. Let's see what this trilby looks like. <laughs> oh, well. I'd like one with a longer brim, perhaps. But that'd be really a fedora. Well, this is going to be interesting the more we play the game. Kind of change up the colors a little bit. So you can look around the store, or you can just look at the catalog. Oh. Oh, it, it does want me to buy coffee from the shelf, then. All the best, fellers. Well, I guess we got some extra coffee, then, huh? Here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides. In some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out there in New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse Aww. me. Time to pound somebody into the ground. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? Oh. You want to find out? Well. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. I didn't Thanks, mean to Uncle. do that. I was just holding left trigger to talk to him. Uncle! Look after her! Fuck, that could have gotten go really see about crazy. Karen in the hotel. Search the hotel. Oh dear. No meal is complete. Don't got oh dear. Try and help people. Yeah, probably I, I the best way to talk him down, really. You, doing all you, can. you looking for a room? 
I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No trouble now, please. friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. I paid for nothing. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but it is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. <laughs> if you have a... I can't believe I didn't read that before walking into the room. Oh, man. That would have been hilarious. If you have the option for a threesome, dude. Uh, everything's it. okay up there? After you. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? On, no. Please. Impossible. Please. Listen, Somebody buddy, please. come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. You come on, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Just following it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Please. My hands are slipping. All right, come on. I'll help him this time. He's a nosy fuck. Yeah, he does deserve it if he fell on his own. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Give me Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man. 
Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Uh yeah. wait. Uh Jose. <laughs> really say where to take it back that was a big nuts move yeah I think we should return this horse Hang on now. Can we study it? American Standard Bread. Coat Buckskin. Come on, girl. Let's go. I got places to be. Back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. <laughs> you gonna give me some money for bringing it back? It does have some good Can stats, I yeah. But nah, I figure I'm I'm fine with mine, and I'll uh I'll improve mine. Welcome. I think I'll just keep that. That's not really worth a lot. If I'm hurting for money, I could always sell that. Things ain't so good. Not to worry. Had regular work till the rancher wanted Any something else. Come on. See what Javier Escuela wants here in the. Drink up, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> oh, hello. Why well, ain't you just a tough as teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone <laughs> can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly, yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? I'm oh, not sure. I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Mm mm. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. There he is. Watch where you're Starting going. fights. About to kiss that guy or punch him. Uh, oh, oh, then we have our <laughs> answer. Oh. Uh, here we go. Oh, come on. We can have 
handle these. Oh no. Well, that is a big boy. Come here, you little creeper. Oh. Oh, oh. Jeez. Fucking asshole, dude. Punched him in the back of the head. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. Come on, pretty boy. Pretty boy, you're kidding me. Pretty boy. You're going down in the mud. Making a real fool of yourself. This guy is really good. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Yes. Got him. Are we done? On, stop, stop, stop! Please, please, I beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. What about my hat? Friends again, I see, Arthur. Oh no. Look who we found snooping <laughs> about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. Well, well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater. <laughs> yeah, we're never gonna be allowed back You're there. Not very popular there, it seems. <laughs> ah, Javier and Charles, I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him. Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater, uh, ah. <laughs> well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur. Go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. <sighs> yeah, looking much better. Americans at rest. Where 
Where's my hat? Oh, well, looks like the place is closed anyway. Okay then. Let's see. <laughs> uh, is the movement of time story based? It looks like so far it's been pretty story based, but maybe, uh, maybe, maybe once they sort of give us a little more freedom. Uh. <laughs> We'll be able to five finger fillet. That mini game was always really difficult. Ah, uh, we could check and see if the hoes are upstairs. There, there was that lovely woman with a very generous uh, bust, whom we can speak with, perhaps. I know she'll be impressed with my fighting skill and my muddy aroma. Let's see, that's a back porch. Cocaine gum. Eh, I suppose that could come in handy. Quiet place to sit and drink. Figure we might as well try all the doors, you know? Yeah, I can tell we're going to need a bath. Oh, well, here's a room. Wish I could use that. I like how he just threw that health cure down and broke it. He just like heard it. <laughs> just like, I don't give a fuck. I'm just curious, do I have to take the wagon to get back to camp or? Nope, that wagon is gone. I might be able to call my horse. Stranger missions. Let's try that. Some tend to put Druid's iron on. Hang on, somebody needs help over here. Oh, I got a buckle. Thank you. That crazy bastard 
bastard, he can rot in hell. I think you should get out of here, ma'am. You can use valuables in crafting, sell them to a fence, or donate them. Alright, now let's go talk to that stranger. Now that we've done so much good <laughs> in this in this town today. Oh, okay. We get to try back later. Well, this is kind of a must be passing through. Don't think I've seen you. What can I get you? Damn, Fred sure don't like people looking at him funny. Well, I think we better call it a night then. Hey, hey, Ron, if you donate, I will be disgusted with you. Wait, donate? What? What do you mean? For Christ's sake. Um. You better keep that shit for yourself. Yeah, yeah. I think you can choose what you donate, so that that can be quite nice. Well, this this is real. Oh, this is really bad. Yeah, this is really bad. We're gonna have to walk. Yeah, let's see if we get the chance. Maybe there is a, a chance to uh, perhaps borrow a horse. Yeah, or maybe you can buy one, yeah. There's a post office and train station. Looks like it's closed. Hello there, and welcome. Aim weapon. Nah. You won't beat our price. Wow, he literally, like, just turned out the lights. <gasps> A cigarette card. Oh, this is the second one we've found. Valentine. Dr. Hawthorne's domestic brand cigarettes. Cool, so you can find all those. So the other one was like a pretty girl card or something. So these that, that was a cigarette card. I guess if you smoke, maybe you get one out of the pack or something. Hunter's Sot. Hmm... One adult rabbit and one average squirrel. I wonder if I have small arrows. Okay, okay, I won't say a word to anybody. Please, stop. Watch it. If I cut him free and he starts you to run. Me one. I need help. Go cower under your bed. Yeah, I was going to rob him. Oh, 
Well, I might as well take the card. Speed it along here. <laughs> the carts are so slow. I'm gonna go fast. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, we need to get back and get some sleep and probably a change of clothes or something. Whatever you have to do to get clean. Yeah. And why is that? Not a thing happens down here without an O'Driscoll saying so. Understand me? Consider this a warning. No need for threats. I ain't claws. Keep going. That's it. Good thing. What happened to my cart? Oh no, I scared it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, let me dump these guys in the bushes here. It's been quite a day, hasn't it? Oh, fuck. Should have thought that through, I think. But now we're, we're not far from home. Yeah, we're kind of SOL at the moment. Well, maybe someone will come down the road who you can rob. Yeah, because we're not in enough trouble. But yeah, yeah. I, I'm just going to put a marker there. an examine. Oregano. Yeah, I know that'll be it's a stamina herb. Well that I did not know. That will be nice. 
use it in our cooking. Little birdies. Oregano is the shit. I agree. that we have like people patrolling the perimeter of our our camp Bur basil is the best boy though yeah i can agree with that well, there's my fucking horse hey, Isaac. just a minute arthur is very tired. Or wait, do you go to the wash buckets? I don't know. Hello, George. Can you get a preview? Of oh, okay, I see. So there's like different stages of <laughs> That's cool. Ah, okay. So you can... Look at that. You have blood on your shoulder from carrying those guys. That's so realistic. I, I really like that. Should we just trim it all down? Like maybe just a little bit? Like that. Nice and neat and trim, you know? The mutton chops. Oh my gosh. I want to get them really long and then do the mutton chops. Yeah, he does look a little crazy if he's completely shaved. I think we just bring it down one for now. Pomade hair. Oh no, I didn't mean to. Okay, well, I guess we're going to look real, real fine and dandy then. Um sorry. Wars, stupidity, lies. Don't make this crap up. Why are we having a war with the goddamn Philippines? What are you on about the Philippines? No? Can't clean up. Help me. Speak to them for me. Maybe after lunch, eh? Maybe we'll go lay down for a second. Okay. How much longer are you streaming? Uh, maybe just a little bit. Let's maybe do one more mission. We'll just sleep till noon. How about that? Yeah, he looks tired. <laughs> He's got blood on his face, dude. Yeah, I want to at least be a little productive today. I'd like to go hunting. I don't know if we should maybe do that first. An optional mission is now available. Where is that? Dominoes? Oh, that's cool. We play dominoes. Bounty hunting. I guess maybe let's look into that first. Since I don't really know any proper hunting spots as of yet. Hey. 
Maybe we just need to change clothes to get all that blood out. Oh, not outfits. I think it's cleaned it up just coming into this menu. Nope, no it didn't. Just kidding. Uh that a nice vest. Oh, that's cool. You can roll up the sleeves. That's quite nice. Alright, that's good enough for me. You have no outfits suitable for cold weather on your horse. How do we change that? Oh, look, there's a black horse. Tennessee Walker in Mahogany hey, Bay. How do we... I'm not sure how you hold or store stuff. That we right, might cool. have to Four. look into that. Oh, that's nice. You can have it flee or follow. Okay. I didn't know you could talk to your horse. So the left trigger really is a key thing in this game. You know, looking at other characters or talking to people during a situation, as you've seen me do. I like to find a nicer color vest. And maybe a different coat, you know? Maybe something a little more formal, just in case, yeah? All my clothes are pretty ragged. Which is fine. Because I'm a rough and tough man. Yes, yeah, boy. And you can click left stick to, like, reassure your horse or pet it or whatever it is you want to do. I wonder if the game knows that I'm headed into town. find out. Well, I think because of that waypoint. I didn't hear how long you plan on streaming. I think we'll do one more, like, mission or maybe, like, a bounty or something, and then we'll call it a night. Because, honestly, it's nearly 4 a.m. Uh, so I'm probably going to have to set an alarm because I don't have to work tomorrow. So we'll just be on this, you know. I'll probably wake up, you know do some stuff and uh, we'll get on to this. It's like we're watching a movie, you know? I want to get a bounty first. I, I would like to do that stranger mission, but I'd like to. You're alright, boy. It's 
skid turns and stops. R, B, and A. We'll give it a shot here in a second. Allow its cores to refill. Well, look at here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. But I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. <laughs> that yellow, though. Ugh. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. Feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck Interesting. A jail. And we What's need him up? alive. That's an important point. Alive. I got it. Inspect. Got our first bounty. So fifty dollars. Alright then. Thought to have remained in the vicinity. So he's north of town. A jail. Check out my cowboy hat. Hello. We're playing Red Dead Redemption. Just the right way, you know. How are you doing? It's awful late, isn't it? Let's look at our cargo. Wait, so that rifle? I don't have the rifle anymore? Oh, it's on me. Okay. Well, how do you put things... That doesn't make sense. I, I really don't get stuff like that. How do you put things back on the horse if you Come not? on, boy. A lantern, okay. And the dynamite. Nothing sitting at the airport waiting. <laughs> That's awesome. Headed out to TwitchCon. Yeah, well, definitely. I I hope you get to meet some other people and uh, have a fun time. I'm sure you're gonna have a great time. Maybe meet some other streamers and make some good contacts in the industry. Always good. Oh, so we got a waypoint on this guy. All right. So we want to catch this guy. Maybe shoot him in the leg or something. Try to, like, lasso him up. How far is this guy? Okay. Okay, so maybe when we get to the railroad tracks, we'll, uh... I ain't leading, so why are you following? Let's see what we can do here. I'm pumped! Oh, I'm so glad you're excited. I know, I know, Jazz. I was talking to Jazzy, and she was super excited, and she was really excited to meet Ryder Soros because she had never met him before, and he's kind of gonna be her companion for the trip, you know? To make sure she gets on about safe and stuff, and he's a really cool guy. So hopefully you get a chance to meet them, to meet the two of them. 
Uh, and I know Castle's going to be there, so hopefully we we'll all get to see each other. That'll be fun. Let's just cut through here. Yeah, okay, boy. Where are we going here? I'm gonna miss everybody while they're gone, though. It's gonna be like a whole week without a lot of my favorite streamers. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. It's like, who am I supposed to watch? Take the repeater with me. Isn't that cool? When he first when he first gets a weapon out, for example, like the repeater, he'll cock it real quick. If it's been a while since he's used it. And same with uh, with the bow. He'll draw an arrow and notch it in. Okay. So now we gotta see if we can find this guy. So he's somewhere in this region. I wonder, let me see how the binoculars work. Is that under items maybe? Yeah. So we have that and the camera. We do need to try out the camera, maybe a bit later. Okay, well he's definitely as far as we can tell, he's not up there. Although getting some height would probably be the best way to find him. Oh no! No, there's a horse right there! Oh, is that him? That looks like him. That's the guy. I wonder if we can just sneak up and knock him out. He's probably... uh, what we got here? Don't talk, you fuck. Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because... Coward, too. I want to buy some medicine. And uh, Oh, punch him in I the face. Him. I heard good things. I'll pay. In gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh, well, if that's the case, to a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know, a medical man. It's like Find smack his horse, make it run away. State. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> over, mister. Put your hands up. Taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently, that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. There's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Ain't my That's business. Crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for He's, no good don't reason. Don't fall. Don't do it. This, oh my God! Please, no. Keep your hands. I want to get this buddy. bounty right. Come you on. Only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Oh no! 
He's probably okay. Sorry. I guess I'm taking his horse. Hungarian half. What's the plan here, guys? <laughs> What's the plan? <laughs> Punched him in All the right. face. Take you in. Definitely got to loot him. Now, that insult to injury. Three dollars and a health cure. His pony is pretty. Yeah, definitely. We'll study it real quickly. A Hungarian half-bred in dapple dark gray. likely drown okay so we don't want to go through yeah. the water where it's deep so we'll just catch across I'm wondering what's gonna happen to my horse now okay maybe it's not too deep here yeah. maybe we can keep this guy's horse I don't know unless it unless it's like Unless it's like modern police do now and they like confiscate your vehicle, you know. I, I don't think the sheriff would take the horse. And drop him into an empty jail cell. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna I think I must be suffering from exposure. I'm curious, does it show my horse on the radar? Okay, maybe it's just gone. I, I still... I'm still a little worried about how the horse thing works. Oh, he's... Ah, uh, he's over there. Fuck. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, let's take that trail. And let's see if we can either whistle or maybe, like, lasso our horse. Because oh. I, I really don't want to have to oh. walk. That's I that's gonna to suck. Out. Oh. Sir... I must warn you, my temperature is subnormal. I have medicine in my pocket. Would you pass it to me, please? Uh, oh, fuck up. You do seem to keep blacking out. <laughs> Maybe whistle. Yeah, let's see. We'll see. We have to be close enough. I know that for sure. So, I mean, I figure we might as well get Sir, up to him. This isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, Listen, I'm, I'm not the well. I told you to law system up. here, you know. Well, who made you judge? I'm only in it for the money. I'm a bounty oh, hunter, not a well judge. Okay. You're a bully, sir. Well, tough shit. Okay, I'm gonna be very careful. Come on, 
Follow me. There we go. I really need to get a better vest. This this yellow just like sickens me. It makes me sick when I look at it. Oh, these are for the horse. Okay. Canned sweet corn. Mmm. Looks like there may be a day-night cycle going. Because look, the sun is just about in the west right now. So it looks like there is a day-night cycle, even regardless of uh, the cutscenes and stuff. Well, I'd say that's a solid day if we made 50 bucks. That's big money. sure my horse stays nearby. <laughs> Getting cold, the farm near me doesn't have fresh crops really anymore. Oh man. Well, that's a real bummer. Oh my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh Mrs. Caldor, uh just Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. Oh, just in the holding area. Okay. I was like, both of these are locked, though. This is 10 out of 10, Stump. Absolutely. 10 out of 10. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. But I told you nothing. Shut up. And, uh... Hey, amazing corn. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. You ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner? I've already forgotten now, sir, um, how much was you offered? Uh, fifty dollars. Here, thank you, madam. Now, please remember what I told you. Well. 
Let's see if my horse will follow me. Come on, boy. I'm gonna take these this other horse back to camp. It's gonna be mine now. Hot pillars. Evening. Evening. <laughs> Just press Y to rob. One one faulty button press and you can be in a pretty uh, crazy situation. Actually, let's stop by the general store on our way you back. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Something else Just around here leave every day. me alone. I'm sorry. What they do, huh? It is in giving that we receive the true gift. You think I'm a pushover, is that it? <laughs> Dude, don't. Take it easy, I ain't serious. You kidding me? Fine. You just best watch it, friend. <laughs> okay. You give me threats, then. All right. Welcome. Got everything you need. Have a look. Yeah, I'm gonna have a look at that catalog. Big Tom is still in a bad way from that fight. After this, you going to explore town more or heading back to camp? I I wanted to come back, so let's see if we have enough time. But I want to look at clothes real quick. Let's see if we can find a nice vest. All right, let's let's do some comparing. Okay, I'm not crazy about that one. Perhaps the paisley one I would like. Um, X all this. Okay. Paisley traditional. Parisian, opulent. Ooh, some nice stripes would be kind of good, yeah. Oh, brown. Brown is nice. Ooh, checkered pattern, yeah, quite nice. Wait, let's look at the paisley. I think with a more elegant outfit, that would work good, but... Considering we're just kind of rugged at the moment. Why don't we just get the classic vest? Or was that what we wanted? No, I think it was this one. X. What's classic? I think the traditional looks a little nicer. Well, let's see what we got on these. Okay, we got a black. Maybe black suits are all overall outfit better, huh? Okay, was there anything else we wanted to get? Shirts, coats... I guess a nice coat to go with it would be nice. Maybe a scout or a rambler. Okay, that one's really nice. Let's have a look at all coats. jacket looks really nice I'm thinking maybe that one what colors do we have here that dark brown looks really nice I kind of like that one or, or really it's more of a maroon what do you guys think should we go with maroon or just maybe that sort of black looking one there. I think either one would look fine. Either this dark maroon or that. Because we already kind of have that yellowish tan coat, you know? Hmm.
maybe the, maybe the black is better because really as a whole it seems to match better. Let's look at the let's look at uh was it this one? No, no, it was uh Let's look at that other one. Yeah, I actually quite like that one too. Let me guess, there's not going to be one in black. Kind of green and black. Oh, we looked at the Rambler. What was the other one? The Worsted. Ah, uh, that one's got some patterns I'm not too crazy about. I guess we'll get that one. Let's look at all the hats. How about that? We'll just browse them real quick. I'm quite happy with my hat, but the big valley hat does look nice. Bulldogger, that kind of looks cool. A state boss hat. We could what color is that? Oh red. Kinda like that one. I mean, this one would look nice if it were clean. How do you get out of this? Okay, you just set the key. Pressing B. That does look very similar to my hat. Now. All right, have a think about Let it. Let me have a look. Last call, settle up. Still got sixty-seven dollars though. Alright, I think we're going to call it a night, because it's already 4 in the morning. I'd, I'd rather play this for a couple hours tomorrow than to overdo it tonight and get too much rest, you know, sleep in. Yeah, this horse could probably use a little bit of rest as well. coming from this boy here. Stay right where you are. Hands up now. And quit. Fine. Fine. Hand no over your money and you won't get move. hurt.
boy. Easy, girl. Man, that robbery went off pretty crazy. I didn't know if I was going to scare both of my horses off and then be totally screwed. We handled that quite well. First go of it, yeah. Who goes there? It's Arthur. Wondered when you'd roll back in. Well, how do I... How do I hitch this one? Nah, I'm busy. I'm gonna go sleep. Let me see. I'm, I'll put some money. Yeah, we do need to see about some hunting. We'll probably do that. Oh, do I not get to pick? Oh my gosh. We'll donate 10 bucks on top of that. Good work, Arthur. That ain't bad at all. Alright, we'll get a full eight hours, figure out how to save the game. Maybe it saves when you sleep, I don't know. No, we'll see if there's anyone we can host. Might be a bit late. Is Joey playing? Oh, we can raid Joey. Uh, let's see. Looks like the saving is a little more ambiguous. Uh, 
Accessing the story section of the pause menu. Okay. Story. Uh, okay. There we go. Oh, good. Lots of save slots. That's good. Because this is definitely a game that would be really fun to replay. Well, fantastic. Well, hey, I'd like to thank everybody that stopped by. It's really been a great premiere for this game. Girl Child, thank you for hanging out, offering advice, and cool little pointers. Uh, Jill, thanks for stopping by. Uh, we've got tons of people that came by today to kind of check out the game. And uh, I'll, I'll wear the cowboy hat every now and then, uh, but it's it's been way hot lately. So maybe I'll wear it more when it cools off a bit because... Uh, it is getting kind of fall weather. But anyway, everybody, thank you for coming by. Really do appreciate the support. We'll be back at it tomorrow uh, with some more Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, for now, let's let's see if we can get a raid going on our good friend I Am Joey Cruz. And let me just get that set up. We'll raid our good bud here. He's a great guy. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great night. We will see you again tomorrow. Bye. Y'all take care now, partner.